Global Navigation Satellite Systems, or GNSS, are now widely used for position location. In an ideal open sky reception environment with no obstructions like buildings or trees, they are accurate to within a few meters. What is the potential when accuracy is improved 100 times to allow centimeter order accuracy? We will be able to precisely locate moving vehicles on the roadway, greatly enhancing navigation guidance. Construction equipment will precisely guide the bucket position according to the blueprints. Line markings on sports grounds will be painted automatically. These are just some of the ways we will use spatio-temporal information gained from high accuracy positioning. The conventional method for using GNSS with car navigation and smartphones was code-based positioning. This is based on signals that contain ID codes for each satellite. The signals also include higher frequency carrier waves. Carrier phase-based positioning data allows positioning accuracy to within a few centimeters. Using the carrier phase-based positioning method, a smartphone map application can tell with high precision whether the user is on the road Fix. or on the sidewalk, and even which part of the sidewalk. However, there are issues with the carrier phase-based positioning method. Unlike with code-based positioning, Advanced calculations are required to estimate the carrier signal wave number of a wave without a scale. And in poor reception environments, in some cases a fixed solution cannot be obtained, or there may be a time lag before precise positioning. The most typical poor reception environment is what is known as an urban canyon, a street closely surrounded by tall buildings. In urban canyons, GNSS satellite signals are reflected or diffracted. This is a major cause of multipath signals that degrade positioning accuracy. In such environments, the carrier phase-based positioning fix rate degrades and sometimes a fixed solution cannot be obtained. Now let's look at a simulation showing how multipath signals are created in practice. You can see the complex way GNSS satellite signals reflect from buildings. NTT has developed a smart satellite selection algorithm that has been successful in improving the fix rate for carrier phase-based positioning. Smart satellite selection provides fixed solutions that are accurate enough to make vehicle lane decisions. It also improves the accuracy of code-based positioning, which can now be used to select low-latency, non-line-of-sight satellites when carrier-based positioning is not possible. Sophisticated calculations are required in order to use carrier waves. NTT is studying the practicality of using a cloud-based positioning architecture to perform these calculations. Compared to positioning at the receiver side, cloud-based positioning makes use of the extensive computing resources available in the cloud. There is also a high affinity with intelligent positioning calculation using added information in higher layers, links to many applications like GIS, and crowdsourced data collected from mapping applications like car navigation systems. Examples of the intelligent positioning processing made possible by Cloud GNSS are the use of geospatial information and NTT fixed stations. A special approach could be taken to combat the significant multipath problem posed by deep urban canyons. 
Multipath signals in urban canyons degrade positioning accuracy. However, a characteristic of these areas is that the target area for positioning is relatively small compared to the large floor area of these buildings. Using fixed stations as reference points defined by carrier phase-based positioning, the relative position of a receiver can be accurately measured. Electronic reference points with antennas fixed to the ground can detect minute changes in the Earth's surface. NTT Group has also constructed its own fixed stations on roofs and other sites with unobstructed visibility. High-density installation in areas where demand for driverless vehicles is anticipated will allow reduced baseline length. These two types of fixed stations will play roles that can effectively complement each other. Next, let's look at how GNSS positioning and time synchronization are related. When vehicles pass through tunnels or under bridges, satellite signals may be lost. In these cases, LiDAR, gyro sensors, and other geosensing technology must be used to estimate the vehicle's position continuously and accurately. If standard time is obtained by synchronizing with a GNSS satellite signal, even if the satellite signal is momentarily lost, an absolute time accuracy of a few microseconds can be easily maintained. Precise real-time self-positioning using time-sensitive sensing technology with high-accuracy timestamps is the key to realizing driverless vehicles. By using very precise positioning and time data, it is possible to establish exactly where and when a person is with high reliability. Geofencing services. Dynamic tolls based on vehicle lane identification. A whole world of authentication services now becomes possible. Existing infrastructure elements, such as manholes, could be used as landmarks for local positioning coordinates. Enhanced use of geospatial information could, for example, use high-accuracy positioning to create barrier-free maps precisely indicating the position of sidewalks or curbs. The potential is limitless for applications based on high-accuracy positioning, time, and spatio-temporal data. NTT continues to work toward realizing revolutionary technology to create new added value.